Woo. It's uh, nice and warm today. It's in the afternoon, it's about three o'clock and uh, uh, I need to get ready for the pigs and I'm gonna make the pig loo. Uh, I realized uh, I've kind of surrounded it with the T post and I still need to cut the door out so I, need, I gotta see if I can lift it out of there without moving any of the T post and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go and cut it out oh, sorry and then I'm gonna go and uh, cut it out first I need to mark it uh, put it in between one of the T posts so I know exactly which how far I, I could cut because I don't want the door to overlap the T posts uh, so the pigs you know get confused which paddock they're going into so I need to make sure it fits into all the different sections uh, so I'm gonna mark it out with a marking pen and then and then I'm gonna spin it around to see uh, how well it works all right first I gotta get it into the right place and then I'm gonna draw the door out and see how and then spin it around see what it looks like all the way around the sticks in the fire my little helper today all right so I don't know how well the camera picked that up but so it's right there so I'm gonna spin it around see if it works with the other t-post because I really don't want it to go past if it just goes if it's you know just goes by just a little behind the t-post I'll be fine but I don't want the opening to be anywhere past the t-post too far where the pigs think they could exit that way because I need to keep them in their paddocks <laughs> what are you doing so that works for here this is the only questionable uh, paddock space because this tree is kind of right in front of it things as long as I get the opening I think all the way to this house Okay, so it works. So that works for this spot. Let's keep spinning it, see what it looks like. Okay, it's uh, I think it's gonna be fine. It looks like it's uh, yeah, leave that alone, okay. It looks like uh, there's plenty of space in between all the. Just leave it. Just leave it right there. Uh, I don't think I had to necessarily spin it all the way around just to see because there's plenty of space and I've I've uh, I've got the T post about three foot five, three foot four, just around there and. It's as you can tell. It's it's in between these two T-posts, and I got plenty of room, so I think I'll be fine. So now the next next trick is trying to get the thing out of there without moving the T-post too much. Oh yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna roll it up to my garage area, get my drill, and uh, if I can find some of my hole saws and my jigsaw, and get it all cut out. I would like to say uh, 
welcome to all the new uh, subscribers uh, a lot of you come from Sean the modern yeoman oh, he gave me a shout out uh, in his last video and most of you guys have mentioned that you guys have come from there and I'm assuming you guys are all from, from the modern yeoman uh, so I really appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to my channel and I'm hoping I can keep you guys uh, entertained with what I do around my farm uh, a quick history of what I do uh, I'm not brand new to uh, homesteading I've been doing it for uh, almost five years now a little over five years now I think uh, and well I've been doing it for longer but not seriously like like I've been doing lately uh, for the last five years so maybe seven years I've been homesteading but probably uh, five years was actual like realizing what I was doing I moved from California to Indiana uh, back in 2013 uh, my first uh, animals was chickens the gateway animal to homesteading didn't realize what homesteading was back then I just thought people just did this stuff as like you know for fun hobbying and then the more I read into it and my wife read into it and realized it's it's a lifestyle and both of us really were drawn to it so yeah so that's I've been trying to become a full-time homesteader but it's really really hard <laughs> um, I wish I started YouTubing way back then but didn't, real, didn't realize what that, what that could lead up to so uh, so but here I am I started YouTubing uh, June of last year end of June last year and uh, here I am so yeah uh, let me get back to the project uh, putting making my igloo uh, pigloo pigloo yeah and I got that from Casey Farms I'll boop, link it right there and uh, once again thank you for everyone for tuning in and subscribing to my channel and thank you Sean I really do appreciate it let me get back to work huh let me get that thing rolled up here and uh, get it all done So uh, I'm going to get my jigsaw and uh, my drill, drill a hole in a corner and I'm going to drill a hole right in the corner right there and then just go. Well first I think I'm, I might draw straighter lines. So let's, let's get on that huh? Already there for me. So I uh, put the level down and then just took a pen and marked a straight line just kept on going. I don't think it gives you a level line but it gives you a straight line that's all I'm looking for. This is a crab hand. This is part of the crab's hand. And this is one of its pinchers. Here, paint out one. I can do it. Watch that. That's my wife. <laughs> Why you sound like a hick when you say that? That's, that's my, my wife. That's my force. Gump impressions. 
What's the other side? You gotta come off! There it is! I wanna get in! Not yet, not yet, not Alright, well there it is! It's a low igloo on pig glue. Pig? Low pig glue, but you know, you can get in there. That's Yeah, so uh, yeah, just throw some straw in there and, and we're all good. All right, so I got that all cut out. Uh, I'm not gonna put it back into the into my grazing. I'm gonna put it back where I'm gonna start my pigs. Uh, I made I made a pig pen to get my pigs started to teach them on electric fi uh, electric fence and you know to teach them. So they could, you know, to teach them about me, yeah, you know, that I'm the guy who gives them, gets them food. So this is a training pig pen. I made uh, videos about getting all this set up. If you want to go check it out, I'll link it right now in one of the corners. So uh, uh, there's electric, electric fencing. I'm um, electric wires to the two wire system I've got in here. I fixed the back fence that was all smashed down. So it's this little bit of fence and then the rest is hog panels that I bought and set up. Uh, the, like I said, there are a couple videos of me doing this whole thing and I made a sliding gate. For it, uh, I'm gonna go get my pig pen and roll a bit, roll it in. Oh. As simple as that. <laughs> Pig shelter. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be fine underneath here. If not, I could always put a cover over it so it doesn't overheat. Okay, well, this is Growing Little Country Homestead. Thank you for watching, and once again, thank you for all the new subscribers and to all the subscribers. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching and commenting. I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? I'll see ya.